to become wheat again. I don't really talk much about poems, but I'll talk a little bit about this one. Um, this one and the one I'll read after this is about my father. And he was a, a phenomenal man. And these two poems I'm reading are based on the experience I had where um, in my, my mid-twenties I became, I was baptized. And nine days later after my baptism, he passed. And this was two weeks then before my birthday. And these poems are about him, these two. To become wheat again. He stood there on the edge, looking down at daughter with tears in bowls of blue, muted trumpet, coming down train of memory with only a few miles to go to see her, a white pearl, itched from speck of uninvited sand into gem. That pearl, that precious pearl, he knows he would have to give back, but broke his back to fetch from the muck and shuck to give back on bent knee, word by word, year by year, telling her the stories, praying the tears, scribbling her little hand across sheet music he once wrote in dark rooms. Frayed shadows looming on staves, he stowed the music away to give her flowers and his smile. Today, to see her give her bones to the water, give them deep, bend them back, Arch them over preacher's hands, soak the clothes, soak into the marrow, her baptism. In the blooming month of May, he became clad. For a few days later, he too arched his bones over wife's unsuspecting arms. Few weeks before daughter's birthday, he gave his bones to become wheat. Leaving the rewrite of Miles Davis's Some Kind of Blue, awaiting her retrieval from the pyre. 